Hey everyone, Travis Tom here. I'm gonna talk about conversions today and specifically Facebook ad conversions. I'm not talking about getting someone to click on the ad and just go to a website. I'm talking something a little bit deeper within Facebook called the conversion objective. Now you may have tried to use this before, you may be using it now, or you may have never experienced it. But essentially the Facebook ad conversion objective in your ad manager, when you first start off on a campaign, you have to choose an objective. There's seven different objectives to choose, but one of them is called conversions. Conversions uh, can only really be used if you have the Facebook pixel installed on the website and if you have chosen an event, an event to track and an event that you want to be uh, correlated with the conversion, essentially. So what does that mean? Well, the conversions objective with Facebook is built specifically to tap into Facebook's algorithm. This is one of the ways that you can really ride the wave of Facebook's algorithm and start to optimize your ads. And what I mean by optimize is that Facebook's algorithm will start to then take your ads and really push the ads to the best prospects, the best targeted audience that you've chosen, and optimize the ads for the highest conversions, getting them to take that action that you've selected on your website. So it'll get you a lower cost per click, it'll get you more leads and more conversions because that's what it's specifically been set up for. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly what that means, how to install it, how to do it, and the do's and don'ts of creating a conversion campaign. All right, so now we're gonna start up inside of the ad manager where we're gonna choose our campaign objective. We're gonna choose conversions, and the reason why is because we want to really ride that wave, the Facebook algorithm, and make sure that our Facebook pixel and event code that we want to track is really optimizing our ads for higher conversions to get more leads. So inside here, you're gonna to start to see the first thing that they're gonna ask you to do is to select a conversion event. If you don't have one created yet, you're gonna go ahead and click on that, and then we're gonna be able to have the opportunity to create a new custom conversion. You can see I already have a few set up for my business, but we're going to define a new custom conversion. And essentially what that is, is we're going to track a specific condition that we want people to take on our landing page or website. Now the URL contains or URL equals is the next option that we have to select here. I suggest that you use, depending on what you're trying to do, URL equals. I'm using a home valuation landing page for this campaign, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the URL. This is the home valuation landing page that we're gonna uh, create a conversion campaign for. Now I'm gonna take the next page of it with after they enter their address. I'm gonna copy that URL because I'm, I specifically want this page to be marked as the event that we're tracking. So when someone moves from the first page to the second page, we've converted them in some manner. So I want it to equal to that URL string. And now I'm gonna choose the category essentially the event that we want them to do. There's a few choices. There's view content, search, add to cart, uh, add to wish list, initiate checkout. Several of these are built for e-commerce, but lead is the one that I'm gonna choose because that's the best one for this type of landing page. So I'm gonna give it a quick name so we can identify specifically what that is because if you're running several different campaigns, you probably have several different landing pages and places you're converting leads. You can set a conversion value. This is specifically for e-commerce. If you're selling, let's say, a thousand dollar you know, necklace or ring, then you can track the conversion value there. But since this is for real estate lead generation, I'm not gonna choose that. All right, now we've created our custom conversion. Home value lead is what we're naming that one. So it's signaling us to go ahead and choose what that is. And we have a few that I've already pre-built for my business. And when I look at the one that I've just created, it says that it is not turned on yet. Essentially, there's no activity yet. And that means a few things. One, it takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to really get uh, turned on from turn to that red to green. So if you see that, don't worry, just give it a little bit of time and it will then turn green and be ready for you to create. But there's a few other steps that we have to do before we can really get that to turn on. 
One is being the Facebook pixel and then also the event code. So I'm gonna go out here into the ad manager and I'm gonna open up pixels. And this is where you're gonna grab your Facebook pixel. So the Facebook pixel lives on this page and we're gonna go ahead and hit actions and then view pixel code. And from here, we're gonna copy the, the pixel base code and I'm gonna go ahead and just all you have to do is click on it. And I'm gonna drop into the back end of this home valuation landing page. If you don't have a uh, website where you can do that, then you're gonna need to go to the header tags and the body inside the code and drop it in there. And you wanna put it specifically on every single site. You really wanna put it on every site that you have or every web page of that site. Next is the event code. There's a few different event codes that we have to choose from. And like I said, there are a few different options. They vary from e-commerce to then just lead and complete registration. If you click on lead, it's gonna give us that snippet of code that we want for that event. Now, the lead event should be placed on a form that is a confirmation page typically, or that is some sort of page where they've taken that action, they've moved forward. You want to take that event code and basically put it behind or below the Facebook pixel. That way those exist together and they really kind of then sync up. So now that I've saved the changes to this page, I've installed the pixel code, I've installed the event tracking code for lead for that event for the conversion campaign. Now next from here, you can go ahead and check on if you need to see if the Facebook pixel is operating, if it's been installed correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And this encourages you to go ahead and check the Facebook pixel status. I already have my pixel installed, so I don't need to do that. I've installed it on a lot of different sites, so it's already up and running but there's a few different tools that you can use to check and see. So I'm gonna check and see if in fact the pixel has been installed correctly on the site. And I'm gonna click up here in my browser and you guys can't, maybe you might be able to see it, but it says that it's been installed, it has a green check mark, so we're good to go. Now the Facebook Pixel Helper tool is a Google Chrome tool that you can use and download. And basically any website you go to, it can tell you if the conversion pixel got loaded correctly, if your Facebook Pixel was installed or wasn't installed. It's a great way to double check and make sure that you've uh, set up that correctly. So as you can see on this page, it's been installed and on this page, it's been installed. So the pixel has been found and it might take, you know, like I've set up to 24 hours for the event track code to be fully recognized to then propagate and show up then inside of your ad manager when we're scrolling down to go ahead and choose that option here. So it still hasn't propagated mine because it's only been a few minutes and in about 24 to 48 hours, that red will turn green and we'll be able to utilize it. Now, if you if, if, it, if you still see that um, where it's not active yet, there's a few options here to choose from to go ahead and help you. But before we get into that, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and as you can see, the rest of the campaign is very similar to all the other kind of campaigns that you would create. There's just a few subtle differences that we need to pay attention to. One of them is optimization for the ad delivery. Now, you can choose how you want your ads to be delivered based on what you're trying to achieve. Now, the conversion is trying to then basically get your ad optimized for the conversion event that you're doing, which is for us, getting those leads, getting them to go from that first page to the second page after they've put in their property address. This can be used for several different types of campaigns, for eBooks, for any kind of landing page campaign that you're doing. Now the conversion window, seven days after clicking, um, one day after clicking. Now I typically recommend that you just leave it at seven days. The so conversion window is basically giving a window of how many days after someone's clicked on the original ad to then how many days in between 
it may take them to actually complete the conversion event that you have selected. With this, it gives an opportunity then for Facebook to optimize the ads based on that window. With a home valuation landing page, it's really gonna be only maybe one day. It's gonna be a few moments between clicking the ad, going from the first page to the second page. Not like an e-commerce website where they may click on the ad and then shop around for a few days and then come back to it and check out. But it's always good and best practice for this kind of type of campaign. Just go ahead and leave it at seven days, but you can also click one day and just test the results. Now, a little ad hack here for you guys is that I'm gonna change this from conversions to link clicks. And the reason why is because we want to season the pixel. So what we wanna do is we want to get towards about 20 um, conversions here, 20 to 30 conversions, and then once we do that, then we're gonna switch it over to Facebook conversions. That's so we want to switch the optimization for ad delivery from link clicks to conversions after about 20 to 30. Now the reason why we want to do that is one, to season the pixel, but two, once we've done that, that 20 to 30, once you hit that mark, that really starts to tap in into the Facebook algorithm and that's where the magic really happens. Is that it'll start to scale and the ads will get optimized and really start to increase your or lead generation on a higher level. Now 20 to 30 is a lot. It's typically you're trying to achieve that within one day. So it may take time and some practice to really get this right. Um, but I suggest that you go for link clicks and then once you've achieved that, then go to conversions. Now, what are the conversion tracking? What is the actual event codes? This is a quick cheat sheet to show you a sample of what they mean. So as you see, we have view content, we have search, add to cart, add to wish list, initiate checkout, add payment info, purchase, lead, and complete registration. The bottom two, lead and complete registration, those are typically where you're gonna see the, uh, the best ones for lead generation for real estate. The rest are geared you know, towards e-commerce and a few other uh, businesses like that. But lead, so track when a user experiences interest in your offering, form submission, or landing on a pricing page. So you can see how that could be used for you know, real estate. Or track when a form is completed. Now both of these are probably the best choices and then it gives you the snippet of code, the event code that you would then place behind your original pixel code inside the page or the website where you've installed the code that you're gonna be tracking.